very warm welcome to you my students to part 4 of our chapter 1 knowing our numbers first of all as promised to you earlier i would like to provide you the solutions for the questions of exercise 1.3 given to you to be solved in the part 3 of our online teaching by chance if you haven't seen part 1 and part th- uh, part 2 3 yet the links are in the description below children these are the solutions of the questions of the exercise 1.3 you may go through them one by one and get the uh, and check the answers for yourself yes children one thing here is that some of the answers may differ from your answers because here they have rounded off in a different way but as we have decided that we will be rounding off only the first digit according to the general rule so you may check your answers accordingly thank you let's move ahead now children let us continue with the last concept of this chapter that is roman numerations which you have learned quite much in your previous classes we learning now children do you know that the number 0 does not have its own roman numeral yes we cannot represent 0 in roman numerals we know that the numerals formed by using the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 are called hindu numeric hindu arabic numerals or international numerals the symbols used by the romans are called roman numerals these symbols are i v x c d and m respectively let us go through this this table is given you the roman numer- ro- uh, roman symbols along with the values of the symbols the value of i the value of i is 1 the value of v is 5 x is 10 l is 50 c is 100 d is 500 and m is 1000 now what are the rules for writing roman numerals let's go let's learn something more about this addition rule when a, a smaller number is written on the right of a larger number the smaller number is added to the larger number for example xi equals to 10 plus 1 equals to 11 xv equals to 10 plus 5 equals to 15 cvii equals to 100 that is for c plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 107 similarly dccx gives you 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10 equals to 860 subtraction rule when a smaller number is written on the left of a larger number the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number here for example if it's iv iv means i that is 1 has to be subtracted from v that is 5 so we'll do 5 minus 1 equals to 4 similarly if it's xl what does xl means here it says that l that is 50 subtract 10 it will give you the answer as 40 xc means 100 minus 10 equals to 90 similarly cm means cm is for 1000 so 1000 minus 100 will give you 900 next now children remember the symbol i can be subtracted from v and x once only the symbol x can be subtracted from l and c once only the symbol c can be subtracted from d and m once only now the multiplication rule this is again very important if a symbol is repeated in succession the value of the numeral is obtained by multiplying the value of the symbol by the number of times it is repeated that means for example if we have xx this means that it is 10 into 2 that is 20 like 10 10 10 into 2 gives you 20 similarly 3 times x 3 times c that means it is 100 into 3 that is 300 similarly if x is 3 times x x x in roman numerals it means that it is the number 10 into 3 30 and m m m triple m means it is 1000 into 3 that is 3000 a roman numeral can be repeated maximum 3 times only now children this is very very important you can repeat a roman numeral only 3 times to maximum the symbol v 
L and D are never repeated. There is another symbol called bar. This is called the bar. It is placed over a numeral which is multiplied by 1000. For example, if we have X bar, we read it as X bar C M L I X is written as 10 into 1000. Why? Because this is with a bar here. So 10 into 1000 plus 1000 minus 100 plus 50 plus 10 minus 1 will give you 10,000 plus 900 plus 50 plus 5 plus 9 gives you 10,959. Now here are some example questions for you children. This is very very important and quite interesting for you. A question says that write in Roman numerals the following numbers. Okay, so we are starting with the first part that is 69. This can be written as this has to solve like this. 69 means it is 60 plus 9. That's equal to 50 plus 10 plus 9, 10 minus 1. For 10 minus 1, why we have done this? Because we needed a 9 here. So it gives you the answer as LX, that is 50 is L, X is 10. So LX plus IX gives you LX, IX as your answer. The next example for you here is 98. That is 98 equals to 90 plus 8. Now this we can write it as 100 minus 10 plus 5 plus 3. That means 100 minus 10. So this x has to be written before c. So that it is 90 plus 8. 5 i i i. That is 8. So your final answer is x c v i i i. Part c is 998. Now this equals to 900 plus 80 plus 9. Yes, children, the part C again is 989. That means it is 900 plus 80 plus 9. So this will be written as 1000 minus 100 plus 50 plus 30. That will give you 80 plus instead of 9, you have to write 10 minus 1. So in terms of Roman numerals, it will be written as 100 to be subtracted from M. This will be CM plus L x x x that is 50 plus 30 30 will be written as x x x plus 10 minus 1 will give you 9 that is i x so the final answer for you is c m l x x x three times then i x that is your answer the d part is 5 and triple 9 so that is 5999 which will be written as 5000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 9. Hence the answer will be V bar. Why V bar? Because this is 5000 plus CM plus XC plus IX. Hence your answer is V bar CMX CIX. That's your answer. Now these are some practice questions for you children. Kindly note down all these questions and solve them in your Practice registers, I told to you earlier to maintain it. Have a nice day children. Thank you so much.